and welcome to Floyd Models Kit View Time. Today we've got Wingnut Wings 132nd scale, latest incarnation of the Sopwith Camel F1. Again, probably one of the most iconic aircraft of World War I, uh, after the sort of Fokker triplane and things like that. Definitely a must for any sort of British aviation fan. And if you're a little bit like me, and the reason I bought that this kit, is I'm sort of making my own little private museum with firsts and certainly aircraft that have sort of dominated their particular scenario. So we thought, what better way than actually to get one of these in? So beautiful box art as you can see actually down there on the kit. There's a lovely sort of, I call it Willy Wonka type writing on there. Again, this was the lovely thing about this era. Some of the actual markings and the artwork that was on the actual aircraft makes them so much different uh, between each other. So none of that sort of boring grey stuff everywhere. Pick a marking and then go for it. So as you can see, that's some of your options for your markings running around it, all very different. Some beautiful stuff down in there. Your kit number for this one is 32074 and a little bit of blurb around the back. So, the kit itself, as we know, is by Wingnut Wings. Now, Wingnut Wings, if you've been living in a cave or, or something and you're not too sure about Wingnut Wings, Wingnut Wings are basically a company. Obviously, Peter Jackson is behind them and everything else. They've got fantastic resources to be able to go and look at the real thing or, you know, rebuilds or mock-ups of the real things to get incredibly accurate details and everything around them. So, from research point of view, they are second to none. What this enables them to do is produce fantastic kits, but what they've done, which is different to everybody else that's been doing these kits over the last few years, is they've sort of almost reinvented different ways of doing injection molding this way we don't get the usual things like flash we don't get sort of sink marks in any of their kits we certainly don't get any ejector pins in anywhere where normally traditionally you would find them and that is what makes these kits such a joy to build not to mention it's got a beautiful instruction sheets with these which actually are like mini little historical lessons that you can follow along through to go through the kit so as you can see good old chunk of plastic down in there we've got some more of the little parts as well and then we have a huge decal sheet so if we just pop these there let's have a look in the booklet first and as you can see beautiful little booklet obviously so much about the actual iconic wing that wings uh, and obviously with the sop with camel and things like that down in there and then going through so usual thing you've got tamia federal standard coal ants and the old-fashioned humbrel okay as we said before, this kit is available in various different flavours out there. So obviously you have got some of these parts which you're not going to use. So just keep an eye out on those lists, okay? Then going through the actual one, as you can see, a totally new way of bringing out all about uh, actually putting it together. So again, fantastic research done, showing you exactly what the real thing is like, plus putting you putting the kit together and everything else like that. And as you make your way through, you can see very clear, concise instructions right the way through on all of this talking about the rigging showing you the different colors for thicknesses in the rigging wire for all the control surfaces and then again beautiful clear reference photos so you can see exactly where to put it okay exactly the same down on the other side with the fuselage going together obviously drilling out holes here and there where you need them and then working away down through the wing section and the various parts different versions perhaps you may be doing and things like that beautifully clear concise call outs and then right the way through as you can see so again not only is this a beautiful little booklet with the references and things like that down in there it's an easy step-by-step -step guide to the actual build itself so all those people who have sort of been a bit daunted about doing a wing that wings kit fear not they've actually got your back when it comes to getting it together as you can see nice work down around the detailed engine again beautiful thing about showing you how to put the rigging all together and getting all of that sorted out and then obviously down in here we've got the paint schemes for each individual aircraft down in here so as you say we've got this one down here which is obviously the box art but we've got all of the others down here near. and we were saying these beautiful different types of markings uh, and everything as you make your way through and then again more references on the real aircraft showing some truly horrendous damage to it but still makes it home every time uh, due to its construction as you can see beautiful research and then obviously a little bit about the team that are behind the kit itself okay and then you've got the parts one down there and some other bits and pieces that are floating around in this genre again very straightforward don't be sort of too intimidated to buy it it's pretty straightforward to follow these instructions. A giant decal sheet and a little bit of photo etch. So as you can see, decal sheet is a monster. And when you look at it a little bit closer, as you can see, they are very, very nicely printed. All of those done exceptionally well, right the way down to all the little bits down at the bottom. As you can see, they're not too bad either. Okay, so definitely no slouch in the photo, uh, the decal department. 
a little bit of photo etch as well. So we've got a nice little brass plate for actually sticking down perhaps onto your diorama base and some of the smaller items down in there just like that, okay. So down here we've got a separate bag. This is for the engine, I assume it's quite a, a different engine into this one perhaps, that's why it's separate bagged. But again, as you can see, the quality of the molding, all the parts and everything else from it are absolutely beautifully done. No problem with those at all. They are very, very nicely done indeed, as you can see. Then into the main bag. Now, the main bag, as you can see, is a big old bag and then hopefully it will be separate bags inside this. So we've got some clear parts, we've got wings, so we've got an outer bag and then again we have inner bag. Now the first thing that grabs me with this one, if you can see, you see how this is cantilevered over? To actually allow for the swoosh of the actual uh, wing section as it bends back actually down in there. So again, some very nice thought out details. So let's look at that one first. So again, just looking at the sprue generally, really very nice. And then when you move over to the, the close-ups on there, you can see all that beautiful detail work on all those parts down in there. They are absolutely fantastic. A couple of different types of prop there. You've got one, obviously, a little bit more flat paddle type and one more bladed. Okay, some of the smaller parts down in here, you can see very nicely done. But on the reverse side, which is the lovely thing with these kits, Again, when you see them, you catch them in the light like this, there's no ejector pin marks anywhere that is going to get in the way. And also you've got the sort of texture and the stressing and everything else pre-molded into all of these wings. It's not just surface detail, it is solid construction right the way through the wing. Again, what I love about these is just the level of detail that these parts actually have. And as you see, you catch them in the light like that, they really just do stand out and pop, which is Again, it's one of those areas where perhaps World War One was overlooked by various manufacturers for all these years, and then a brand new company comes along, and okay, it's got very good pedigree right off the bat, but they've come along and just gone straight to what I call AAA, which means they're the best of the best. Again, okay, another sprue down in here. You can see all the parts on it, beautifully done, fantastically molded. Can't see anything wrong. A little bit of a, a more detailed look, as you can see. We've actually got the main fuselage there, then we've got the wing top, then we've got the underwing, or the lower wing section I should say, some great details on that, and then right the way through, as you can see, all of those very, very nicely done, all these small parts, we've got a little bit of a control panel, going to be up there like that, and then again on the inside, you do have ejector pins, don't get me wrong, they're there as you can see them, but they are not anywhere that is going to be seen, the void areas, like in here, completely devoid of all ejector pin marks and you can see it on both sides there and as we work around top and bottom of the middle section of the wings and then we've got that under section for the wing and then again fuselage halves underside right the way that beautifully done very very nice okay then we've got the final sprue a lot more of the details on here again as you can see really a nice busy sprue all the different types of cows down here on the front as you can see for all the different versions so make sure you get your correct versions right as it goes right the way through okay and then if we start up here we'll run across the top again beautifully done very very nicely laid out parts clean crisp parts all the way through you can see the fuel tank there in the middle all these different things, very nicely done. Now don't get me wrong, we do get some ejector pins in here, but this is very complex, but as you see, easy removal. You can get in there, clean those up afterwards. A couple of swipes of a sanding stick and you're on. The wheels uh, down there, obviously different types as well for different ones. Those all important front cowls, the different types of ones down there again. And then obviously we've got the other wheels set on the other side. And then obviously we've got the midsection sort of axle down on there, just like that. Again, when you're looking round at it, they are a joy. They're not overly complicated. The thing you do have to remember, and I always say in all of these reviews, is tolerances. The tolerances on this kit are extremely tight. And what I mean by that is, they're all done in computer and it's CAD work and it's all absolutely fantastic, but what they don't really allow for is paint thicknesses. So if you've got a coat of primer down and then another coat of paint, and it goes slightly wrong, so you give it another coat of paint, you know, a couple of thousandths of a mil like that actually turns into hundredths of a mil, tenth of a mil, all of a sudden things don't go together. So what you need to do is just clean those parts, make sure they're nice and clean, or pre-build it all, get it in there, paint them, 
undo, then glue, and then pop them back together afterwards. That way you have no problem. But every time I've built one of these, and I've only built, ever built two in my life, uh, that technically I've always had a little bit of problem with tolerances, and that is because of just glue thicknesses, paint thicknesses make for little tiny seams. If you get allow for those and you clean those up, you shouldn't really have a problem. Some of the clear bits, just down on here you can see, beautifully done, pretty much a straightforward sprue, just like that, as you can see down on there. So there we go, that is another legendary kit by Winged Up Wings. They are absolutely beautiful kits. Go out and buy one, what can you say? Again, they're readily available these days in the UK and get through Hallants and stuff like that. They always were a little bit of a problem. We used to have people saying about troubles of bringing them direct in from New Zealand and getting caught with custom charges. Now they're readily much available anywhere around the world as you make your way through. So go off and get yourself a true wonderful kit from Winged Up Wings. Thank you.